and welcome back to the Marisha Wallace Show. Hi, today on the show, we're going to be talking about all things mixing. Okay, on Broadway, that Broadway sound that everyone wants, that's a mix belt. So I don't like to categorize things into mixing and belting. I think when you're using that forward placement, if you add a little bit more chest, that gives you a belty sound. If you have a little bit more head voice, it gives you more of a mixy sound. So let's talk about the parts of the voice. That's what's so important. I've talked about this in belting 101, but I'm gonna reiterate this in belting 102. We have our head voice, which is the hooty who, like legit sound that we hear, like um, Julie Andrews. And when she's like, uh, the hills are alive with the sound of music. That's like in your head voice. And then your chest voice is down here where you speak. You speak in your chest voice at, in a lower range down here. You'll hear the resonance if you go, ah. Uh, you hear that uh, vibration in your chest? That's your chest voice. Um, I sing down here sometimes when I'm singing, come on, babe, why don't we bring the down? Down there, that's your chest voice. And then in the middle is this beautiful place that we like to call our mix. And that mix is so important. That's what's gonna save you when you have to do eight shows a week and you have to be out there belting on Broadway eight times a week, hitting those high notes. How do we do that safely? And that is what we call mixing. Mixing is all about forward placement. And the way to get that forward placement is to put that sound all the way in the mask. So the technique that I use is that I like to take the voice all the way to the extreme nasal, nasal forward place. And then when you go to sing your song regularly, the voice just sits. So it's just sitting in the right spot because it's already been pushed to that level. And the way that we can do that is doing nya nya exercises or twang as some people call them. Nya exercises, also the addition to that we do lip trills which help with our breath support which also helps us to be better at mixing the first step to get in touch with your mix is to get in touch with the higher parts of your speaking voice so what i do is i try to speak on a high pitch and keep adding a higher pitch so let's start with you never do that so repeat after me you never do that you never do that so you're gonna go, you never do that. You never do that. So make sure that it's really forward and nasal. And as you as we go up in this exercise, don't let it get in that throat. Stay nasal and go even more forward. I want it to sound nasty and nasally, like you never do that. So here we go. One, two, here we go. You never do that. 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 You Now, if you have to stop on the way up, that's okay. Stop, take a breath, and keep going. You never do that. 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 You you never do that. 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 How did you go? As 
energy went up. I know your voice may want it to tighten, but loosen and just make it really nasal and forward. This should be super easy, not light, I mean, not strained or heavy, just light and nasally and forward. Okay, here's another one. May I come in? Repeat after me. May I come in? May I come in? May I come in? Okay, this one's gonna go, may I come in? So that may I keep it in the nasal and the forward in your mask. May I come in? 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 registers we made sure that we go forward because sometimes even mine want to slip back as we went down I was like no 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 keep it forward keep it nasal keep it light you shouldn't feel anything on your cords even in the top 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 parts of the range you shouldn't feel anything on those cords it should be all forward in the mask okay so the next thing I want you to do is grab a paper towel okay this kitchen roll wherever you are I don't know what you call it but this is paper towel kitchen roll a towel is actually even better for you because it gives you more um, friction against the tongue so it's harder for your tongue to go in the back of your throat. So another thing that can help with your mixing is fixing your tongue tension. So a lot of times when we wanna go up high, mix and belt, that tongue just gets stuck in the back of our throat. So what we're gonna do is gonna pull that tongue out with this paper towel. So you're gonna fold it into four like so, okay? And then I make it about half the size. It, just keep folding it till it's about, this doesn't look that good, but. <laughs> fold it till it's like about here. And then I fold it a half again. And I'm gonna put it on my tongue. So you can see it here. A half. Uh -uh. I'm making sure that you're holding the tongue out straight. Don't pull it too hard, but just hold it out straight. Make sure it's not hanging down or up or something like that. So you're just gonna go, yeah, 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 yeah. Forward in the mask, American baby. Let's give it a shot, okay? But you don't want that tongue to go back. You only wanna use the back of that tongue. We're stretching that out and getting that forward placement, okay? Let's give it a shot. La, 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 la. Now let's try it with music. Here we go. Your tongue may be feeling a little bit stretched, which is good. You should feel like your throat is more open and that you're ready to belt it out. Okay, mixy trouble spots. 
Mixing trouble spots. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there's a couple of mixy songs that everyone loves and parts of those mixy songs that people are always like, how do I hit that? How do I do it? So I'm going to give you a couple of those mixy belting spots tricks. Okay, and if you want more of these, please don't forget to comment um, which ones you want me to help you with because that's what I do, that's how I help you. Okay, this is the big high note in Once Upon a Time um, from Brooklyn the Musical, which I was just in, which is so exciting. So there's the more Let's tackle that one. More So first thing we're gonna do is do a yeah. Now if that's hard for you, it's kind of high, but that's okay. Just make it really nasal and forward, and don't worry about it sounding pretty at this point, okay? So let's do a yeah. Pretty easy. Now let's do it with a lip trill. Pretty easy, right? So let's do that one more time, making sure we take a good breath, not just the breath from the bottom of our stomach, but from a breath from a 360 place, a whole body. <laughs> easy. Now let's do it on the yang again. Now see, after I did the lip trill, the nya was easier, right? Because it not only takes breath support, it takes the placement and the breath support to make the note right. Okay, now the more, more has to be already forward in the, in the mask, okay? Because if the more is in the throat, then you have to push it out to the front. But if more is already in the right place, right will just be right, okay? So go, more right. just to start okay more right. more 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 good now try it You might be able to hit it. I think you can. Mixing trouble spots! That's the note everybody has to hit. And it's not that even that high, that that uh, that note. It's just about the breast support of hitting that note. But if you mix it, it makes it a little bit, bit better. So you got, that's been gone, but used to be mine. So um, if you wanna give that a little bit more flair, put a little bit more chest into it in the note, if you wanna do it. So let's do it on a lip trill. <laughs> So much easier on the lip trail. Now let's go back and do it now. Now try it with words. That's been good, but you. It 
Hopefully this helps you. This is my mixing, beginners mixing. I would say this is beginners mixing. So if you have any more questions, I'm gonna do another more advanced mixing, mix belting lesson. I hope this helped you and I can't wait to see you next time. Mwah.